Hello, friends. Thank you for joining me today as we continue our journey through the scriptures. Today we're going to read Psalm 84. This is one of the psalms that reminds me of my need for the artistry of the psalms. What I mean by that is there is a powerful visual, spatial, um, almost a hearing that you can have when you read through some of these psalms. Certainly in Western culture, we're accustomed to getting to knowledge and facts and understanding, and it's one of our great strengths. One of the things that gets left behind, though, is being able to um, experience the world around us. We're more than just our brains, aren't we? Perhaps with our eyes, our ears, we can hear the echo of praise, or we can uh, see in our imagination the colorful imagery that's offered to us, uh, particularly in the Psalms. Today, um, as you're listening, you, you may have a regular pattern, but I invite you to close your eyes and let this imagery wash over you. The setting is at the temple. Uh, think of a grand temple there built in Jerusalem, and um, you're going to hear things um, like the bird. Uh, matter of fact, verse 3, and we'll read here in just a moment, but it talks about how even a sparrow finds a place to build a nest right, in the, in the temple of God, um, uh, th there's this notion of um, joy that emerges from bringing in uh, our full hearts into the temple of God. And so I just, I, I want to invite you to listen with a very colorful eye, colorful ear, colorful heart um, to these words. And I will be pausing in between each reading so that you can uh, let your imagination fill in the gaps. So friends, let us walk up to the temple of God and hear this psalm. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts! My soul longs, indeed it faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh sing for joy to the living God. Even the sparrows find a home, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may lay her young at your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Happy are those who live in your house, ever singing your praise. Happy are those whose strength is in you, in whose heart the, are the highways to Zion. As they go through the valley of Baca, they make it a place of springs. The early rain also covers it with pools. They go from strength to strength. The God of gods will be seen in Zion. O oh, Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O oh God of Jacob. Behold our shield, O oh God. Look on the face of your anointed. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than live in the tents of wickedness. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. He bestows favor and honor. No good thing does the Lord withhold from those who walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, happy is everyone who trusts in you. Could you see the sparrow? Could you see the swallow building a nest? Imagine that even the creatures of God's own hand find a place in the temple of God. Surely it is something that we can um, take note of or to uh, let our hearts be that highway to Zion. This is a pretty forward-pointing uh, line 
uh, in verse five, it talks about happier those whose strength is in you being the Lord God and whose heart are the highways to Zion. You know, friends, a lot of times um, th this artistry also points to something even deeper. And in this case, uh, certainly as a New Testament believer, um, I understand that to, to be a reminder that in the depths of our souls, uh, perhaps from the heart, um, we can experience that presence of God. It's an upwelling movement of God that's called the mind here. And it's when that when our hearts are connected, um, I guess, to the heart of God, if you will, that in that place, no matter where it's at, if we're at the temple or anywhere, that we indeed are walking that path to Zion. Um, Zion, kind of a real place when we think about the land that God rules in. Um, but also, again, what Jesus talked about, the kingdom of God, that uh, um, Zion is a way of being as much as it may be a place uh, of geography. So uh, I don't know where you're at today, but I pray that, uh, well, friends, we're marching to Zion together today. Let's pray. Lord, we hear the beat of the music of the ages uh, echoing in our hearts and souls today. We thank you for this powerful imagery that reminds us that all creatures of creation may find our rest in you. Lord, I pray for strength and power, and I pray, God, for compassion to flow, uh, to, to guide our footsteps, to be a light into our path as we walk the journey ahead of us. In Jesus' name, amen.